The Saturday that precedes the Pentecost Sunday is celebrated as the Feast of Mary Queen of Apostles. It is an important feast for the members of the Palotine family. Therefore, Paloti Institute Mysuru presents to you a video highlighting the reasons for which this feast holds importance to each Palotine. Mary, Mother of God, has been offered respect, honor, and veneration by the Christian tradition. She became the person most revered and honored as she welcomed the plan of God to become the mother of Jesus. Mary is our mother too. She shows us the way to follow Christ as she has done while being here on earth. We believe that she continues to be our model and our mediator before our God. Wilson from his childhood cultivated a tender and great devotion to Mary. His affection towards her only grew in leaves and bounds over the years. He often meditated upon the last words of Jesus from the cross, entrusting her to the Apostle John and him to Mary. She played a leading role in gathering the apostles and disciples in prayer to wait for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the upper room. Among the many titles attributed to Mary, the title Mary Queen of Apostles was very dear to Paloti. He began to mention this title in his letter written to Sister Maria Francisca Spirelli in 1833. Vincent, in fact, had a desire to be counted among those disciples of Jesus gathered in the upper room. Vincent placed this newly founded society of the Catholic apostolate under the protection and patronage of Mary, Queen of Apostles, in 1835. Vincent saw in Mary a powerful source of protection by her intercessory role. The newly founded Pious Society, the Union of the Catholic Apostolate, urgently needed Mary's powerful intercession so that the union may obtain all the necessary graces to achieve all the apostolic and spiritual objectives that it etched for itself. Thus, the union may exist always in the church and may spread rapidly in proportion to the needs of the souls in every part of the world. Mary is also an efficacious example in the works of charity and zeal. Even though she was neither a priest nor a person, she occupied herself with such perfection and fullness that she merited a glory even greater than that of the apostles. In her, all priests and laity of every state rank and condition will be inspired to imitate Jesus, the Apostle, in all endeavors for the greater glory of God and the good of oneself and one's neighbor. We all look for models in life, isn't it? In a spiritual journey in particular, we look for people who have gone ahead of us in the way of holiness and charity. Vincent found in Mary that surest way to Christ. She committed herself in such a manner to the work of the greater glory of God and for the salvation of souls, or even she exceeded in merit the apostles though the ministry of the priesthood was not directly conferred to her. She cooperated with God far above the apostles in the propagation of the holy faith and rekindling of the charity. 
Mary does not fulfill the makeup of a conventional preacher like that of Peter, Paul or any other apostle for that matter. But she preached the gospel of love by her prayers. Her life gave courage to the apostles in their efforts of spreading the good news. She is effective in her intercession. She made her motherhood spiritually effective by generating spiritual children in the church. New Foundation by Rev. Father Tommy Churatil SSC as Rev. Sister Chandrika CSSH known as Senegal Sisters of Sacred Heart seeks to deepen, adapt and constantly develop this spiritual insight of St. Vincent Paloti in the church. This new pious association has its mother house in Bilaspur, India. The Senegal community gathers new members since its foundation. The charism of this new foundation is to strive towards one's own renewal and to work for the perennial renewal of the people of God, especially the clergy, religious and the laity after the example of Mary, Queen of the Senegal, who remained in the Senegal and gathered others also in the Senegal, building up the communities of faith and love to continue the mission of Christ. A devotion to Mary, Queen of Apostles may inspire us constantly to say yes to the divine plan in all circumstances, however challenging they may be. May we understand the strength of prayer with Mary in today's cynical, such as in our homes and in our communities. May we learn new lessons from her to be more and more humble and obedient to the plan of God for the salvation of the world. We entrust the Senegal Sisters of Sacred Heart, the new initiative of the Holy Spirit to the maternal intercession of Mary, Queen of the Apostles, that she may inspire them to become a new source of strength for the suffering humanity. Thank you.